Welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw, where we let Batista take us through the season mode so we can see the WWE through the eyes of the animal. Last time, Stacy was drawn to Dave like a moth to a flame. This time, however, we join Dave in the women's locker room. Stacy, are you here? I'm over here. Oh? Oh, yeah. I thought you might like to see what I'm wearing for the Brown Panty match tonight. And you are right. Oh, hell yeah, show it off. Wait, wait, no, no, I'm starting to sound like King. Ah, no way. <laughs> I need to relax. Uh, someone get the spray bottle. Since I'm going to win, no one but you is going to see this tonight. And everyone else watching this right now. And remember, if I win tonight, you get to play Santa. That means get a lap dance in front of everybody. Oh, I only got three words to describe that. Ho, ho, ho. Hotter than hell. Oh, will you stop? Come on, man. You can't blame me, though, right? I mean, the ladies... Okay, all right. No, no. Uh, I can't turn into king. No, can't do that. All right, so this brawn panties match coming up is going to last over 10 minutes. And as you can tell by the length of this video, it's 10 minutes too. So I cut this match close to the very end just to let you guys have a little taste of what this was like. Trish Stratus already has her top removed and she's got a red body. So far up to this point, I'm going to let you guys know, I could not get her bottoms off to save my ass. Maybe it's because legend difficulty. Maybe it's because I'm not pushing the buttons hard enough. I don't know. All I do know is that this match was hell. So welcome to hell. I hope you enjoy the women getting exposed for all to see. So Stacy with the offense, staying on top of Trish. There's a chin lock to take advantage of Trish's already orange head. Stacy's got a finisher and she goes for it with an amazing leg lariat. And it looks like she's going to remove Trisha's bottoms once and for all. Look at this. Look at that meter. You see that? It's moving the wrong way. And I'm pressing those buttons as hard as I can. Who knew it would be this hard to get a woman in nothing but her underwear? Stacy going for it again. And still, it's not working. Oh my goodness. This match is stupid. Just take your clothes off already. It's not that hard. Oh, hell. And now we're going into a damn chop battle. Yeah, I suck at these. Oh, my goodness. Who knew a match with such beautiful women would be the worst thing about this game? Well, I guess that's my hot take. I don't know. What I do know is none of that worked. And now Stacy's working on Trisha's leg. What is this? We see Stacy with Edge's educator. I guess she's gonna educate her about submissions. Huh? I know you like it, shut up. Stacy goes for the back rig, brother. The Keebler takes down Trish. And again, she goes back to those legs. Stomp on them like your name is Ron Garvin. Now let's make Jerry Lawler proud and finish pulling her shorts off. Oh, it, it's gonna work. It, it worked. Stacy pulls off Trisha's bottoms, and now, oh, Batista. It's time to claim your prize, big man. Now get your ass down here so she can give it to you. And here he comes. Get on in that ring. What the hell? Everything's turned pink. Batista's sitting in the chair. It's time. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Stop the music. Who the hell is even that? Kurt Angle. Hi there, Stacy. Hope I'm not interrupting anything between you and your little friend there. You are. I heard he was in the building. You know, I wasn't too happy with how he treated my superstars last week. That's not his fault. They invaded Raw. So our next match is a handicap match between him and the team of Rene Dupree and Bubba Ray Dudley. Well, I mean, not for nothing, but the last match that we had with Matt Hardy as our partner against them 
was basically a handicap match. But I'll never forgive you for interrupting what would have been the best moment of all these fans' lives. Oh, so we're getting straight to it. All right, good. Rene Dupree and his tag partner, Bubba Ray Dude Lee. I still can't believe the nerve of that guy. Just walking out in the open and ruining our moment. I wonder if Stacy's up for a more private lap dance after this match. Maybe if we quickly plow through these dudes, we can go to the women's locker room and check for ourselves. The animal starts off with a strong JBL-like clothesline from hell. The power behind that shot was insane. Big Dave with those right hands. Batista with more stiff shots to Fifi's handler. Dupree with a counter. It's not gonna work though. No, it's not gonna work. Hey, hey, stop with the double team. Northern Light suplex. And the referee counts. This is over. Nah, it's not. Don't don't you even dare think for a second it was gonna be over. Rene Dupree unhappy with the ref's call while Batista sneaks up on him in front of him and hits him with an STO. This man goes on Batista's big shoulders and gets slammed down with a sidewalk slam. You know, that sidewalk slam might just be the best if we don't count big boss mans. Batista's thrown into the corner. And what the hell? Dupree leapfrog the ref. Dupree is thrown into Batista's own corner. His body's in the yellow. And now it's in the orange. Damn, that might be the best way to deal damage. Keep on throwing them in, big man. And now it's in the red. It is the best way to deal damage. And for those who might have seen my fourth, what, fourth or fifth video, they probably would have figured out, yeah, that is the best way to do damage in this game. But this is the worst way to do damage for me personally. I suck at these chop battles. And it looks like Dupree is a master at them. And there you go. Oh wait, he's going up. And the master of the French tickler. It's an elbow drop from the top rope. And Batista hits him with a spear. No matter what you do to this big man, you can't stop him. And there we see a devastating kick to the back. And Batista with a fall away slam, pump handle style. All right, man, wrap this up. We don't want to keep the Keebler waiting too much longer. He's got this man on his shoulders. The torture rack is in the ropes. But he doesn't let go. And he finally lets go. The animal armed with a finisher throws Dupree into his corner and takes down both men at once. But Renee with a roll up. No, a backslide into the ropes. Y'all chill out with the double team. A reversal. Sees Batista setting up Dupree for that power bomb the animal knocks down Bubba Ray and covers Dupree and the ref counts to three and now with them out of the way hopefully we can go backstage and see if Stacy is still in the mood to clap those cheeks for the animal she better be after all we just went through I know that much we see the animal still in the ring he wore those boys out at least Dupree. I don't know what the hell happened to uh, Bubba Ray. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him for him to be laid out like that. But it doesn't matter. We've definitely got to get our reward from that brawn panties match. So Stacy, I hope you're ready to give the animal what you promised. Here she comes. I think I'm going to sign with Raw after Survivor Series and manage you. But first I need to know that you are better than any superstar on the SmackDown roster. What more do you need to see? So I persuaded Kurt Angle to make a 15-man over-the-top rope challenge between you and 14 SmackDown superstars. Why are you making it harder? Don't worry. They're not going to all gang up on you. There's a lot of interest in my services on this show, too. And whoever wins the match wins me. This lady's got more in your windows than Jerry Lawler. A cross brand over the top rope challenge this Sunday at Survivor Series for Stacy Keebler's contract. Stacy and her contract are coming home oh, to Big man, Dave. That's gonna be hot, Cole. 
That's the kind of match that makes me think, you know what? I should get back in the ring. Hell yeah, Taz. Live your dream. Batista will be getting hot and heavy with Stacy, and you'll be getting hot and heavy with those 15 men. <laughs> I just hope you're durable because some guys can be rough.